everyone! In this video, we'll be talking about being polite as a variable in speech. Now, have you ever had this kind of situation before? If yes, then you will need to watch this video. This video will be talking about the definition of politeness, positive and negative politeness, positive and negative face, and face-threatening act. Let's start, shall we? First things first, we're going to start from the definition of politeness. Politeness is the practical application of good manners or etiquette. It is a culturally defined phenomenon and therefore what is considered polite in one culture can sometimes be quite rude or simply eccentric in another cultural context. For example, if you ask about someone's age in Indonesian culture, it will be totally acceptable. However, if you ask about someone's age in Western culture, you'll be a dead meat for sure. Next thing we're going to discuss is negative politeness. What is it? It is an effort to make what is said less infringing, or in other words, to show more respect to the hearer's face. Negative politeness may increase the level of awkwardness because both the speaker and the hearer are trying to respect each other's difference. People who aren't closely familiar usually apply this negative politeness. Some examples include the language choice in a business meeting and first encounter with someone in which people prefer to call and be called by their last names preceded with their title, Mr, Ms, Doctor, etc. Like this one. Stop! How long have you been at Kamataj, Mr. Doctor? Mr. Doctor? It's strange. Maybe. Who am I to judge? Negative politeness is also used when talking to elder people. In Indonesia, we address someone who is older than us with kaka, ibu, or bapa. Remember, all those language choices we use are supported by the non-verbal components accepted in one speech community. We can't call Ibu to our lecturer by pointing our index finger to her, can we? Unless you want to see her next year. <laughs> Not only negative, politeness also has the positive type. Positive politeness is used to establish a positive relationship between speakers. It intends to respect a person's need to be liked and understood. Positive politeness is also applied when speakers are intimately familiar and want to show openness. For instance, when a teacher uses the student's language, she or he is showing students that she or he is friendly or open. And do you believe it when someone makes jokes or even insults his best friends, it is a kind of positive politeness? Nicknames are also one way of showing positive politeness. Take a look of this video example. What's up, my nigga? What's up? What's up, my nigga? What did you just say? What's up, my nigga? Alright, now that you've been familiar with negative and positive politeness, we're going to continue to talk about face. No, no, it's not the face in general like the shape, the complexion, and so on. It's merely a term to define the public self-image everyone tries to protect. Face is also categorized into two types, negative and positive face. The negative face is the basic personal right of an individual, including his or her personal freedom as well as freedom of action. 
When one maintains his negative face, it doesn't mean that he keeps his grumpy face like the guy on the picture. Negative face shows the desire to include autonomy and independence. The example of negative face is the freedom of speech in which the speaker expects to be heard and not interfered when he is speaking. The positive face, on the other hand, is the individual desire of a person that his or her personality is appreciated by others. Using the positive face, a person wants to be liked, admired, ratified and related to positively. For example, when one dresses up nicely in order to get compliments and when a student makes his project with all of his effort, helping his teacher appreciate his work. Do you know that our negative and positive face may have a threat? It is called a Face Threatening Act or FTA. FTA is an act which challenges the face wants of a speaker. According to Brown and Levinson, FTA may threaten either the speaker's face or the hearer's face, and they may threaten either positive face or negative face. Now, just read the explanations of FTAs from both the hearer's and the speaker's face. Okay, I hope this video enlightened you about the politeness. Now it's time for your discussion. Thanks for watching and cheerio!